coupled climate models are an essential tool for scientists studying Earth's systems and can be used to address many different research questions. Global models, like E3SM, can be used to investigate regional physical processes that have been informed by global Earth systems data. Computing at this scale requires visualization techniques that go beyond graphs, charts, and surface mapping. Here, we address this challenge within a project seeking to identify locations in the Gulf of Mexico suitable for cultivating macroalgae to be converted into biofuel. We show a prototype for how these models can be visualized with coarse data for practical use at the Mariaculture Farm scale. The large number of variables governing the Gulf's behavior requires analysis not only of each element alone, but rather the critical relationships between these variables in three-dimensional space. In order to co-locate these scalar variables, we sampled each by density, creating a collection of points. While less precise in terms of boundary markers for individual data values, this method allows users to identify relationships at a glance in true three-dimensional space. We use artifact-based rendering, a tool created for artists and designers to integrate directly with visualization processes to custom create encodings of color maps, glyphs, and textures for data variables. Here, these artifacts encode simulated variables essential to understanding macroalgae growth in the Gulf. Scalar concentrations of nitrates and chlorophyll, along with depth and temperature of Gulf currents. The nitrate variable is divided into three categories by concentration level, each of which is mapped with an individual color ramp to show internal concentration ranges. Chlorophyll is encoded using a single twisted glyph shape mapped with a green color ramp, while major currents are illustrated with simple streamlines encoded with a blue color ramp showing temperature. Small pathlets encoded with hash mark lines show surface eddy direction. These eddies are ramped with a discrete black and white color map denoting clockwise and counterclockwise flow, respectively. These artifacts produce richer, more intuitive visualizations that reveal important information about the relationship between many variables at once. Incorporating artists into the visualization process allows us to show these data in new ways, promoting more productive research questions and better public-facing communication. Marine macroalgae is a group of aquatic plants that grows near coastlines and in some regions of the open ocean under certain conditions. Macroalgae can be a productive source for biofuel, a renewable carbon neutral alternative to fossil fuels. To cultivate enough macroalgae to meet U.S. energy needs, researchers must find locations with hydrodynamic and biogeochemical conditions suitable for long-term growth. Some locations within the Gulf of Mexico provide many of these ideal conditions, which are dependent on the presence of enough light, abundant nutrients, and appropriate water temperatures. The presence of critical nutrients for macroalgae growth, like nitrate, depend on several environmental conditions. Some regions, like the Mississippi River Delta, are oversaturated with nitrate due to chemical runoff from agricultural activity. This nutrient excess creates dead zones where nothing but algae can thrive, choking the ecosystem. These dead zones could benefit from the macroalgae cultivation, which would absorb the excess nutrients and provide relief for local ecosystems. Ideal growing conditions are also tied to the depth of the Gulf waters. As depth increases, light levels decrease, water cools, and nutrient levels increase. Macroalgae needs light to photosynthesize, so it lives on or near the ocean surface. Mariaculture farming at scales large enough to meet the demands of the U.S. energy sector, however, require even more nutrients than the quantities available at the surface of the Mississippi River Delta. Growing conditions for macroalgae evolve with the seasons. Gulf currents shift direction and velocity with changing temperatures, affecting nutrient concentrations in turn. 
Here we see this relationship with monthly average changes to gulf currents shown using streamlines colored by nitrate concentration. Much higher concentrations of nitrates, as we can see here, are often found deep beneath the ocean surface. Scientists are considering geoengineering equipment to bring these nutrients to the surface. This could provide enough nourishment to free-floating macroalgae canopies in the open ocean, enabling practical, scalable cultivation of suitable quantities of biofuel. Implementing these ideas is extremely challenging in practice. While observational studies investigating these nascent research questions can be prohibitively costly, HPC modeling provides a cost-effective alternative. As the demand for carbon-neutral energy sources continues to increase, so too does the need for high-level tools to make their cultivation and acquisition possible.